Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be really chatty video. I'm just going to show you all the fabrics that I have at home. If I can link it, I will link it down below or I will put it on the screen. But unfortunately, not all my fabrics are possible to purchase. Depends uh, where I get it from or where I found it. And if I cannot, I'm really sorry, but maybe just take it as an inspiration. I will try to go quickly through all of it because it's really a lot so I hope it's not going to be very long video so let's just go ahead and let's start so as a first fabric here I have this knit fabric uh, many of you will maybe recognize it uh, because I already made one top out of this fabric and I showed it in one of my videos so if you have been watching you know what it, what it was and uh, it's this really nice, uh, very, very soft knit fabric with a little cute, very romantic flowers. It's very comfortable fabric and I still have some something left. And if I probably, if I cannot make something out of it for myself, I'm going to keep it for my niece and uh, maybe do something cute for her. Next four fabrics that I have here are all uh, double gauze, 100% uh, cotton of course and uh, I already have some projects in mind uh, that I would like to make mostly for myself and mostly it's going to be summer dress or a summer top uh, but I wanted to tell you also if you have any idea, if you see any fabric that I will show you today and you like it please let me know what would you like to see suggestion for a specific pattern let me know but these days i'm trying to make my own just because it's more fun it's less expensive and it fits me better usually but i'm open to any ideas so please let me know so as the first uh, double gauze is this uh, gray one with the white polka dots. Uh, this design is quite common, I have seen it in many shops so even if the shop that I bought it from is not available for you, don't worry, I'm sure you can you can find it anywhere. So the next double gauze is this simple white one and this is for sure accessible for everyone and everywhere. Oh guys, the trends, it's driving me crazy here. So I was thinking uh, very simple summer dress or really nice loose tops uh, it's more suitable for garments that are not fitted that are quite loose and it's very breathable fabric so it's just perfect for these hot summer days and so that's why I got like three meters of this fabric because I want to do some really nice dress maybe maybe a top as well then I got this black one because I just think it's so classy and the uh, black summer dress why not I mean why not and the last double gauze that I have at home is little remaining piece of this uh, beautiful burnt orange uh, double gauze if you watch the video that I made how to make simple uh, pyjama set uh, then you recognize this fabric if you haven't well go and watch let's continue with something summery and then i have here this beautiful beautiful summery fabric this is a mix of viscose and lin 70 percent viscose and 30 percent lin which makes it really nice and breathable but uh more fluid and more drapey uh than 100 percent lin so it's just perfect for summer dress if you guys have any idea please let me know even a skirt would be nice out of it or maybe like a top the next fabric that i have here is this beautiful soft i think it's a viscose crepe um crepe i'm not sure because this is the fabric that i got in paris in this kind of coupon shops that i have already mentioned a couple of times on my channel so i'm not 100 percent sure about the composition of a fabric but based on the feeling i think it's a viscose and it's a crepe fabric it's a little bit transparent i have 
I think four meters or if not five meters of this fabric it was very inexpensive so I had to get it of course if you want to see this one in something specific comment down below and this is the most simple way how you let me know that you like it and you want to see maybe some video another beautiful summer fabric that I have here is this white uh, broderie anglais I think this is how you call it uh, this is the way how to show you most of the fabric has this design I really love it I cannot wait to make some summer dress out of it or a blouse would be amazing and then the bottom of it it's this kind of design which you can let your imagination run freely and you can just trim it and use it whatever however you like so I think I'm going to play with this because it's beautiful and it would be perfect for summer day I think the next summery crazy print flower print fabric is this one this is another crepe fabric but this one is uh, unfortunately polyester but still very nice feel to it nice quality and really beautiful beautiful colorful print I have three meters of uh, fabric because usually if I buy a fabric uh, with not specific uh, project in mind it's a good quantity it gives you a lot of options the next thing that I have here is this viscose satin jacquard I would say usually when I buy fabric I try to put it on this piece of uh, carton and I usually write over here all the informations just in case that I will not forget I want to know how much fabric I have and what is the composition of a fabric this helps me a lot this fabric would be great for a skirt or maybe a dress or whatever you have in mind uh, it's really beautiful fabric another beautiful viscose that I have here is this amazing burnt orange viscose with this beautiful cute flowers and they have this golden detail on it it's really beautiful fabric uh, as you know the viscose really nice and drapey I think this one I'm going to keep for fall maybe just because of the color again I have three meters of it just because I bought it and I didn't have any project in mind the next thing that I have here are these two cotton poplin uh, beautiful blue and pink gingham dream of every cottage core girl I will say <laughs> again another fabric that you might recognize if you watch my videos if you don't go ahead and watch I think you will not waste your time and if you will then so if you want to know what I made out of these fabrics then go ahead and watch the video but not right now just after I finish talking about all the fabrics then you go ahead and watch the video okay so I still have uh, some remaining and I think I'm going to use it for pyjamas because I'm this kind of person who like to sleep in cute pyjamas and I feel like I never have enough another mix of viscose and lin is this beautiful fabric over here again guess I have three meters of it I got it I think last year when I was in Slovakia it is here waiting for me this year I'm going to use it because I cannot wait to make something out of this fabric it's really nice and soft and drapey the design is quite out there but also simple in the same time and I think I could create something that would be so easy to wear just to make decision this is the problem <laughs> the ideas are there but making a decision is not always easy now it's going to be quite exciting because if you know I'm Slovakian and this shop is Slovakian they do their own designs the quality of fabric is amazing and hopefully you can get your hands on it the first fabric that I'm going to show you is this 
beautiful linen. It feels amazing, it's nice and soft and on the top of all of this, look at this amazing design. Tell me, have you ever seen more beautiful linen than this one? I haven't. This is my dream. This is my dream come true and I just want to wear this every day but I'm so terrified of cutting this fabric but I just want to wear it but but I'm afraid but I want to wear it but I'm afraid guys help me but this has to be dressed I hope you agree with me if you don't we are not friends anymore I'm serious so the brand is Takoi and uh, of course I will link it down below I think this fabric is still available uh, and another fabric that I have from the same brand in is this beautiful cotton satin with all these beautiful meadow flowers all over so I think you have to agree with me that this has to be also a summer dress imagine having picnic in a meadow beautiful summer day blue sky no clouds perfect temperature outside the smell of the flowers and you wearing a dress like this there is nothing better than that you have to agree with me again you want to be my friend you have to agree with me now i want to show you something really special and if you can see i'm really protecting it and just loving it and not cutting it because this is what you do when you love fabrics and you love them so much that you are just afraid to destroy them no but honestly i think i'm not ready for this fabric and it would be really dumb from me to go ahead and just 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 destroy it i'm not i'm not ready for this fabric i'm not ready for it and i just want to respect it I just want to respect it and make something out of it make something beautiful when I will be ready for this fabric when I can take care of it and create something beautiful and I am talking about nothing else but silk of course beautiful heavenly soft silky silk this is one of the most beautiful things that i have ever touched in my life i think the next most beautiful things i'm going to touch in my life will be my baby's butt if i have one day but until then this is the most soft thing that i have ever experienced and it's so beautiful and I'm just going to treat you well so guys I know you will have a lot of ideas and maybe many of you will say oh make a pillowcase it's good for your hair and for your skin and I know I agree with you but I just cannot use this fabric for a pillowcase it's just too much pretty but don't worry guys I promise you here and now that when I'm going to cut into this fabric and make something, you are going to see it, okay? I promise you. This is a promise between friends, okay? The next thing I have here is this bunch of viscose. Uh, as you can tell, I like viscose because I like idea of making a lot of summer dresses. And the viscose is just perfect for it, I will say. Yeah, I have three meters of all of this any ideas guys so the first one is this beautiful flower print on a baby blue background recently i started to like really like blue color which i never did before and i think that the blue color suits me and i never used to wear it so this is another fabric that i would like to use as soon as possible let me know if you like it or not the second one is this beautiful burnt orange color with the white flowers and they have these little tiny details on it very cute fabric really really pretty nice and soft the third viscose is this really pretty flower design on the black background it's this nice white uh, flowers with a little yellow detail very pretty fabric this 
screams like summer dress I imagine friends and maybe Phoebe wearing like a 90s style dress this is the first idea I get when I look at this fabric and the last viscose is this pink one with the little flamingos all over it feels the same I think it has the same weight like all the other ones but personally I cannot see myself really wearing like a dress out of this fabric I think I'm going to keep this one again for some cute pyjama set. Oh, I was lying, I have another viscose here, but this one is a little bit different. It has slight sheen to it, but it's really beautiful. Again, gives me this 90s vibe, incredibly cute flower print, beautiful colors. Again, I was not used to wearing such colors, but now I don't know why I just love them. They are just my favorite and I don't know why, I don't know who I am anymore. Again, I'm just dying to make something out of it. I wish I had like 10 hands and I could make things like really fast because I just want to wear all these beautiful fabrics this summer. I know fabrics doesn't expire, but I just don't want to wait. I just don't want them to, to sit in, in my closet and wait for me. So the next thing that I have here is this huge pile of micro satin. I don't really know what micro satin means uh, the only thing I know it feels nice it's soft it's not transparent which is always plus uh, and I have like uh, eight meters of it um, yeah eight meters i bought it because i had in mind really specific dress that i saw in one of the sewing magazines it was a dress designed by carolina herrera it was like a maxi shirt dress with a princess seams but um, quite complicated and right now i'm not in the mood for this because i know i would spend like humongous time on making it and right now i just want to be making simple summer dresses but if you really like this fabric and there will be many and many and many of you who want to see it let me know and uh, i will make it priority for you the next fabric that i have here i'm not quite sure about the composition of this fabric but i think it's mix of many things mostly cotton there is some polyester there is some elastan because it's a slightly stretchy fabric, not, uh, not far away stretch. It's nice uh, creamy color with these orange squares. I was thinking to make a pair of nice comfortable wide leg pants, high waisted of course because here on this channel we don't do anything else but high waisted stuff. The next fabric that I have here is this plain white gabardine i think is the name of this fabric uh, the composition is mostly cotton uh, approximately like 85 percent and there is maybe five percent of elastin um, this fabric if i am not wrong is mostly used for for jackets and coats and trench coats and stuff like that i had in mind uh, maybe pair of overalls or maybe wide leg pants for summer culottes something like that if you know more about fabrics and you think i would make a big mistake to make pair of overalls please let me know i would appreciate your advice because i'm still learning about fabrics and some of them i have literally zero experience with next two fabrics that i have in my hands i think are not really valid for this season so i'm going to keep it for later on when it will start to be again cold uh, this is 100 percent cotton this is unfortunately polyester but good for me uh, because i know myself i destroy a lot of things so polyester is good at least for a beginner like me to try i'm planning to make some blazer because i quite like wearing blazers when it's a little bit colder uh, i find them very versatile piece of clothing and i always feel put together when i wear one it will be a piece 
that I will use a lot and this one I think pair of wide leg pants will be quite a good choice another fabric that I am most likely keeping for pyjamas is this nice geometric fabric uh, I think it's a cotton poplin I just got it as a remnant and I think making pyjamas out of it will be the best choice another fabric that I have in my stash is this viscose I don't really know what type of viscose this is but it's nice and soft uh, as a viscose it's light and drapey so would be suitable for many summary project I will say if you like this fabric you want to see me making something out of it let me know again okay so the next one is really interesting this is organza I already have project in mind that I want to share with you uh, if you want or you don't want I'm going to <laughs> this is going to be some really nice dress uh, that I will design by myself uh, it's really interesting fabric it's nice and soft but it has this really interesting detail on it I will try to show you closer it's transparent as you can see it has this kind of lines uh, running through but then you have these little tiny dots but probably you cannot see it on camera but if you could touch this fabric you could feel some kind of like a velvet texture and I have never seen before organza like this so it's really interesting and I think it can be made into a beautiful dress so if you are excited by this idea if you want to see what I'm going to make out of it and you are not subscribed to my channel well, the chances are that you probably will miss it. And the quick fix is just subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications, and in this case, you are not going to miss this future video. So go ahead, guys, and subscribe to my channel now. I mean now. The next thing that I have here is quite unusual for me because I don't tend to go for red colors but when I saw this design I thought to myself well I should maybe try to make something because I'm missing red color in my wardrobe. Maybe it will be nice for some kind of blouse with the puff sleeves this is my favorite of course uh, so I just got one meter and a half because I don't see myself making a full dress out of it and I think I'm going to have a lot of dresses after the summer so this is going to be just a blouse the next fabrics that I have here are just this simple one color jersey fabric that my fiance chose for himself he want me to make just a simple t-shirt for him because you know you never have enough of basics so this is not going to be for me it's going to be for him but I quite enjoy making things for him because he is one of these people who really appreciate when I make him something it's a lot of joy in this case to make something for someone else Okay, another knit fabric uh, that I have right next to me uh, is this children fabric and it's because I occasionally do something for my niece or for my nephews and uh, so I purchased this fabric long time ago and I already did a lot for many children but I still have something remaining so for now I'm just keeping it for the next occasion when I will have to make something for somebody and finally last but not least is this French terry fabric that you can also maybe recognize from one of my videos that I posted here it's this cute pink hummingbird on a grey background really nice and good quality I cannot recommend enough I don't know if they still have this specific fabric but they always have some cute designs so if you are still hesitating you should go and check no this is not sponsored nobody knows that I'm existing so nothing here is sponsored guys so it's just my opinion and you can trust me but you don't have to it's up to you I like this fabric and I think it's awesome and this is it guys this is pretty much all my fabrics or maybe like 98% of all of my fabrics but most of the things that I didn't show you today is just like lining fabrics nothing really interesting or fabrics that I'm going to use 
just for testing before I do some garment out of real fabric so yeah I think that I showed you everything so if you like this content please give it like subscribe to my channel if you are not because I can see at least 50% of the people watching they are not subscribed if you were hesitating until today subscribe to my channel it really helps me a lot so thank you again for watching guys and see you soon Bye-bye!